signs of aging include more than receding hairlines and gums, wrinkles, painful joints, and clogged arteries. As with everything else, your voice actually ages too. And for people like us who talk for a living, this is important stuff to know about. Most people don't think about taking care of their voice muscles like they would their biceps. So our health expert, Karen Owak, is here with some tips to help keep your voice from growing old. Karen, thank you for bringing this one up. I wouldn't have, I would have never thought about it. Yeah, most people don't until they lose their voice later in their older, elderly years. So what are some of the signs of an old voice that we can start looking out for? Well, first of all, let me explain what you need to make sound. The first thing you need is you need a vibration source and those are your vocal cords so imagine this as your vocal cords this is your throat and your the vocal cords are bands that go across and those need to vibrate to make sound the other thing you need is you need a power source you need air you know from your lungs to move the bands move mm. those vibration uh, sources and then you need uh, your throat, your mouth, your lips, your teeth to modify the sound. So those are the first three things that you need to have a nice voice. Now, uh, as you age, some things start to happen. And one of the things that you lose elasticity in those uh, vocal cords. Mm. And when that happens, it's just like you lose elasticity in your muscles. They become less stretchable. And, and when that happens, your vocal cords can't lengthen and, and move like they did when they were younger. And uh, therefore, you're going to have a different kind of sound. Maybe hoarse, it might be more hoarse, more raspy. You know, have you t ever talked to someone over the phone, yeah. uh, Noelle, and you can just kind of tell that the person is a little more uh, elderly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You definitely can. And I guess I, I, you don't really think about ways to combat that or, or to keep your voice a little stronger. You, you talked a little bit about the reduced elasticity, which makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. But there's also some other key reasons that you can sound older. So like decreased lung capacity, which I imagine your daily habits might have an effect on that. Right, and and when you lose elasticity in in your lung tissue, they just can't expand and hold as much air. So that's one of the problems. The other is vocal cord dehydration. You know, the vocal cords dry out, and that can be part of uh, just not getting good blood flow, as much blood flow as maybe before, as well as a decreased amount, a, a decreased number of the lubricating yeah. glands, you know, so you're just not getting that moisture, which is going to cause you to cough, is going to cause you to sound hoarse. So people in a job kind of like sound like today. <laughs> <laughs> so people in a job like this, where you is over usage a a pot, an issue there. Yes, definitely. Okay. So when you talk a lot or you have to talk loud, those uh, vocal cords will bang against each other and they could cause little nodules and, and mm. they're like little calluses and that could cause uh, you to you know, have a very yeah. hoarse voice. So people that talk a lot or people that talk in, in very loud, noisy environments uh, have to really be careful because you can actually uh, cause hemorrhaging in yeah. the vocal cords and you can have permanent damage from that. Well, we've heard of professional singers having to, to have surgery to try and correct things like that with their throats because mm -hmm. of the overuse. Okay, you've got 10 tips to keeping your voice younger and uh, the first one is exercising just in general is supposed to help. Yeah, exercise. One of the things that as people well, I, I see this a lot in younger people. Their posture start, you know, you get the text neck, the rounded shoulders. When you have poor posture, you just can't expand those lungs like you would if you were standing up straight. You know, just try it. If you're bent over, you just can't breathe really hard. You also need very strong abdominal muscles. Uh, when you have strong abs, 
those, that, those abs are gonna help push the air out of your lungs, so that's really important. Uh, muscles atrophy, like your diaphragm, all, all those things will atrophy and cause thinning of muscles as well as thinning of the vocal cords. Okay, uh, obviously good care for your teeth and gums just because that's where the sound's coming out anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and as you, if you lose your teeth, you, the, the jawbone will start to deteriorate. Mm. So and that's gonna, any time a change in your face is going to make uh, a difference in the sound. Uh, avoid shouting and yelling. Yes, uh, so today, <laughs> try to control yourself okay. so what, during try. the 49ers game. Uh, yeah. We don't want the vocal cord banging. <laughs> I, I'm one of those people that loses my voice very easily, so I, I will think about that. Uh, drinking lots of water, I think that that's uh, an important one. Yes. People kind of forget how that, important that is. That will help keep your vocal cords uh, hydrated. So very important, try to get in uh, eight ounces, eight, eight cups a day and sip maybe 15, every 15 minutes. That's kind of a, what singers do. Uh, these two are interesting. Control coughing and then limiting your alcohol. Yeah, the coughing is going to cause scarring. So if you, you're sick, you want to try and control that as much as possible. However, uh, decongestants are going to cause dehydration, so uh, depending on what you use to control the coughing. And then after you, you get over your cold or, or whatever it is, go ahead and l allow your voice to rest. Mm -hmm. You know, just don't talk for a couple days so that the vocal cords can heal. And alcohol, that's going to inflame the uh, the mucous membrane, so yeah. you don't want to do that. Limiting alcohol and, of course, not smoking. I know that's your number 10, but I'm gonna skip down there just because that's uh, an extracurricular that people do uh, partake in. Right, right. And a lot of people have acid reflux nowadays, and, and that's also going to irritate the, and cause dryness. So try to avoid things like very acidic foods, fatty foods, and uh, very carbonated, highly carbonated drinks, as well as alcohol. And something you can do, singing. You say singing in the shower, actually. Yes, singing is great because you're going to be using those muscles so they're not going to atrophy and shrink. And, and even in the shower where there's a lot of moisture, so there again, you're going to help um, lubricate okay. the vocal cords. Well, just like our bodies, we got to take, you know, our muscles and that sort of thing, we got to take care of our voices as well. Karen, thank you for all these tips this morning. Always appreciate having you. Well, see you next week, Noel.